In previous tutorial, we learned how to train and choose a best performing model. Now, how do we run predictions against the trained model using Easy Computer Vision Platform? Easy Computer Vision Platform comes with an API layer that makes model accessible using RESTful API. Easy Computer Vision Platform also lets you run predictions using command line. Let's try and see how it works by example. Before you could run a prediction against an image or a video, you first need to specify a path to the model itself and the files that are required for the model to be loaded and predicted against in the prediction config file of Easy Computer Vision Platform. Prediction config file prediction.json is located at the path, which you can right now see on the screen. There are three paths that should be specified. Model file path is the absolute path to the model file with file extension .h5. Annotations file path is the path to the COCO annotations.json file that was exported by rec label tool. Params file path is the path to the training.json config file located at the path config slash training.json of this platform. It is the config file that training pipeline used to train the model. Note, it is suggested to create a separate directory and copy above three files into that directory. It is important to preserve the training.json and annotations.json in the same state as they were when were used to train the model. If you change them, model will not load. Therefore, the rule of thumb is to copy the golden egg model and two of the required config files into the separate data directory. So you have all configs, which were used to train the model backed up and stored separately in the same directory with the model. Later, if you modify original configs and retrain, files for previously trained models will stay unchanged. Let's do just that. Now that I have all three required files for a model backed up in one place, I will point Easy Computer Vision Platform's config file to them like so. I will drag and drop each one of them into a console. That will provide me with an absolute path to each of them. That path I will then paste into the config file. When pasting, please make sure you keep double quotes surrounding the path value. To predict against an image, please run following steps. First, cd to the root of the Easy Computer Vision platform. The same way as we did previously, type in cd, then space, then drag and drop directory into command prompt and press enter. Then run command that you see on the screen right now. Please note that you need to specify an absolute path to the image file in the command with command line argument minus minus image. After flag minus minus image, you would need to specify an absolute path to the image which you would like to use as an input for your prediction. When command is completed, please press enter. Logs will start running just as my logs that you see right now on the screen. That means your image is being sent to the model for prediction and an output image will be generated in no time. As you can see, three objects were predicted on the image. Let's take a look at the actual image output with predictions rendered on it. All outputs are saved by default in the output directory. As you can see on the image, Easy Computer Vision Platform rendered three bounding boxes and segmentation masks. Each bounding box has the label of the predicted object specified at the left top corner with the accuracy rate on the right side of the label. In this case, we have three car objects predicted. To predict against the video, please run following steps. First, cd to the root of the Easy Computer Vision platform. Then run command that you see on the screen right now. Please note that you need to specify an absolute path to the video file in the command with command line argument minus minus video. After flag minus minus video, you would need to specify a path to the video file, which you would like to use as an input for your prediction. When command is completed, please press enter. Logs will start running just as my logs that you see right now on the screen. That means prediction process has started. Now each frame of the video gets predicted against. Therefore, it might take some time for process to run each frame of the high resolution video through a model and render predictions on them. 
I will pause here and come back when process is done and an output video has been rendered. As you can see on the video right now, cars are passing by surrounded by bounding boxes and labels on them. Some objects do not get predicted on some frames and that is due to the size of the dataset. Our dataset was only 100 images large. It is enough for a demo, but to get solid results, you would want to have at least 1000 images per object. Since we had three objects, car, motorcycle, and pedestrian, we would need about 3000 images in total, 1000 for each object. Where do prediction output files get saved? Output JSON file with predictions, including output image and video files with predictions rendered on them, are saved into path that you can see on the screen right now. Unique file name is generated automatically using a timestamp. We save predictions rendered into an output image or video file by default. However, you could switch it off by specifying the following flag in the prediction command minus minus no output. Full command will then look this way. As an example of how predictions can be made over the RESTful API, we have prepared following example that runs on Flask. We also prepared a script that sends an image file to API for upload, then outputs prediction results into console. To start API, please run following commands. First, cd to the root of the Easy Computer Vision platform. Then run the command, which you see on the screen right now. To run a test script, which passes image file to API for upload and prediction, please open additional console window under a separate tab and run following commands. First, cd to the root of the Easy Computer Vision platform. Then run the command, which you see on the screen right now. Please note that you need to specify an absolute path to the image file in the command with command line argument minus minus image. Results of the prediction are populated in the console window, just as you can see on the screen right now. And this is it. If you have any additional questions, please comment below. The complete written documentation for Easy Computer Vision Platform is located at the URL displayed on the screen right now. All responses to questions we receive will be posted in the written documentation. To finalize our course, I will complete the steps needed to demonstrate the use of REST API for prediction and the results. We hope our course was informative and helpful for you to begin your journey at computer vision segment of artificial intelligence. Stay tuned for more videos to come from opensourcesearch.com academy.